Hello, everyone. Welcome to Behind the Mic. I'm Gary Laubach, along with Mike Joseph, as we get ready for the Fordham Rams. They come in as an undefeated team. They're ranked number five right now in the FCS in both polls, and they're ranked number one in the Lambert Cup uh, race. And obviously, uh, an outstanding team creates an outstanding challenge for our football team. Yeah, and definitely it does. And they've learned uh, not only to win, but win those close games. And they've had a uh, Four wins by less than three points, and uh, just last week just sneaked out a win against Bucknell. So they're not only learning how to win, but win the tight games, uh, and that's the mark of a good team. And, of course, they come into this ballgame with just a spectacular quarterback, and Mike Niebrick, he is a transfer. And Niebrick has put up ungodly numbers, uh, 3,181 yards throwing the football. But there looks like uh, a good chance he may not play in this ballgame, and that would mean they'd have to go to Peter Matzold, who uh, did come in in the uh, Bucknell game and played very well. Uh, yeah, and that's a testament to the coaching. Uh, Matzo played, I think, against Lafayette a year ago or maybe even a, uh, two years ago. But being a senior, he's very well prepared. Uh, you know, you can't always trust if Niebrick's not going to play. But, uh, you know, the opportunity for them there is to get uh, more kids reps. And, and they just have outstanding players all over the place. Their wide receiver group, I think, is the most uh, athletic group that I've seen. Um, obviously, the, with the win against Temple, the win against Villanova, they've gone up against great competition. So uh, uh, I really don't think it matters who the quarterback is. I think it's just a matter of uh, can we cover up some of their athletes. And we know that they can't relax. They're looking for an at-large bid in the FCS. They're not, they're not part of the Patriot League yet. They'll be part of the league next year. And you also get a sense they want to send a message for next year when they do come into the league. So they have a great deal to play for. Uh, I think so, and uh, the fact that Lehigh did not get a bid last year with a 10-1 and record I think makes them even more aggressive to uh, trying to finish out this season. Now, they finish out tough. They're going to finish out against Lafayette and then Colgate uh, and, and possibly uh, one of the two Patriot League champions, whether it be Lafayette or Colgate. So uh, uh, they got their work cut out for them, and I think they're going to have to play their best football here at the end of the year. I worry a little bit about our mentality coming off our first loss in the Patriot League to Colgate. A very tough loss. We didn't play well in the first half, played very well in the second half. We still have a shot at the Patriot League co-championship. That's sitting out there uh, during the Lehigh game. To me, this week is all about getting mentally prepared to play this football team, not look ahead and not look back. I absolutely agree. I think it's a lot. A lot of this week is going to be mental. It's the fact that you've lost the game in the league, and sometimes that means you're out of it. Mm -hmm. So you really have to go back, and you have to understand that uh, each game has to be played individually. I think it makes a big difference that this is the last game here at Fisher Stadium for the seniors, and this is a group that I think Frank's leaned on all year long to to keep that locker room together. And I think they've done that, even though they don't show it in wins. I think guys like Greg Kessel and uh, and Mark Ross and and uh, Crosby and some of these kids that uh, really uh, have really endured a lot here. I think this senior class means a lot, not only to them, but to Coach Devani and the staff. We always talk, too, about behind the uh, or inside the huddle with Mike. And this week he's going to talk about quarterbacks. And you're going to say, what's a defensive secondary guy know about being a quarterback? <laughs> he was a quarterback in high school. He knows a great deal about being a quarterback. Make sure you spend a little time inside the huddle with Mike Joseph. For now, we thank you for spending a little time with both of us. We'll see you on Saturday right here at Fisher Stadium.